turning a trip at home where I packed everything I was going to need for the next two weeks of camping and filming. I left for my place in Tampa and headed up to High Falls State Park, which is just outside Atlanta, Georgia. So it's gonna be a little over a six hour drive. I've been to High Falls State Park before. It's a very nice campground, and I wanted to just stop here for one night to break up my drive heading up to the Smoky Mountains. As I pulled up to my campsite and before I could set up the tent or anything, I looked in the woods behind me and there was this doe that was just staring at me. After I set up the tent, I had a little time to kill before it got dark, so I decided to go out and explore some of the trails that are around the campground. I continued along the trails going upstream along the river and I ended up at the spot that gives High Falls State Park its name. One thing I wanted to do on this trip was buy a variety of freeze-dried meals and give you my honest opinion on each one and how it tastes. So I went ahead and I brought a little camping stove with me to boil some water so I could add to these meals. The first meal I was going to try was a chicken teriyaki and you just add the amount of boiling water that it says on the package and kind of mix it around and zip it up and let it kind of cook itself for about 10 minutes. It looked good and it honestly tasted pretty good and I gave it a rating of an 8 out of 10. After a night that was much colder than I was expecting for the first stop, I woke up to a beautiful morning with light fog rolling through the woods and it got me excited to get on the road. I left 
High Falls and I was heading toward the Great Smoky Mountains at Smoke Mount Campground. It was about a three and a half hour drive. I knew I was going to need the truck later in the day, so I didn't want to set up my tent right away. So I decided to kill some time by exploring some of the trails around the campground. You don't bother me, we can walk right by. You'll probably take out when we get close. The small river that was running right next to the campground had some crystal clear water in it and I was actually able to find a small trout, I think it was a rainbow trout, just chilling in the current. After going on two separate hikes around the campground, it was time for me to get back into the truck and go witness the whole reason that I chose this spot. The O'Connell FD Visitor Center is a five minute drive from Smoke Mount Campground and it is famous this time of year. Elk are a species that are native to this region, but in the 1800s, they were completely wiped out from the Smoky Mountains from overhunting and loss of habitat. However, they were reintroduced into the region in 2001 and 2002 when a total of 52 elk were brought back into the area. Since then, the reintroduction has been successful and the population has been growing within the national park. During the fall, the male elk, also known as a bull, will make their famous call, which is called a bugle, and it's very loud and kind of not what you would expect this animal to make, and it's to attract females, also known as cows, or to challenge other bulls. Once I got back to the campsite, I set up the tent and it started to get dark pretty quickly so I made myself a fire and I started boiling the water to make my dinner. I was going with spaghetti and meat sauce tonight and I had pretty high hopes for this because it looked really good right out of the package. I also boiled up some extra water to make myself some hot chocolate. The spaghetti was pretty good, I gave it an 8.5 out of 10.
I woke up to another cold morning and I quickly started boiling some water to get some breakfast and coffee going. I decided to go with a breakfast skillet this morning and honestly it was pretty bland at first so I gave it a 5 out of 10 but then I remembered I had some hot sauce that was literally sitting in my truck so I threw it in there and that was what it needed and it boosted it up to a 7.5. My goal for the day was to drive over to Cades Cove on the other side of Smoky Mountains and explore the scenic overlooks along the way. I wanted to check out Klingman's Dome, which is the highest point in the Smoky Mountains and there's an overlook up there, but it was so busy when I got there that I decided just to get some shots from the parking lot. After I left Clayman's Dome, I passed the Sugarland Visitor Center and found some turkeys in the field out in front. Once I left the turkeys, the next stop was a Cades Cove loop. At one point the traffic stopped for about 25 minutes because a black bear was crossing the road. I was able to pull off on the side and actually find the bear. After the bear, I didn't see much else along the loop, so I decided to head back to the campground and visit the elk before it got too dark.
For dinner this night, I was going to go with a different brand. It's their chicken pesto pasta. I made the dinner and I went ahead and made myself a little fire and I just ate the chicken pesto pasta next to the fire and it was the best one I've had so far. I give it a 9 out of 10. I woke up to another foggy morning in the mid 40s. I made myself a breakfast skillet, the same one as the day before, and packed up the tent to hit the road. I drove to the visitor center to get some signal to route where I was going to go next, and you could hear some elk bugling in the woods behind it. Once I got my route, I hit the road and I was going to my next stop in Virginia. <laughs> 